Welcome to my spring clothing thrifting extravaganza. Let's see my thumbnail. Whoa! I don't know, is this like double mirror situation gonna be freaky? I'd be like, I'm here with my guest. A lot of this stuff is actually like two years old. I think it was Lainey Ozark I was watching and she was speaking about how like if you have your spring summer clothes out all year in the winter, by the time it comes to spring, you just won't really wanna wear them. So I just put a little black bag under my bed. Going on a trip to Morocco in like two weeks. So I thought it was time to get them out. I was gonna through, go through like more springy bits though for now. I actually filmed the first part of this video yesterday where I went through my jewelry and my jackets. So I'll put those clips in now, enjoy. I'm gonna do like a clickbait title and be like, massive spring summer haul. It's actually just stuff I already own. Also, peek my little mic. I got a little mic and I have a little, you're on a little stand right now. Because as some of you know, I'm starting my new job. I'm going to be making like content for all of their like different platforms. So like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, the whole shebang. So I kind of needed like, they probably would have gotten them for me, but I feel like I just wanted to like have a few bits going into a job. Because like, you know, your first week, you don't want to be like, do you guys like mind giving me like a tripod? <laughs> So I just got them myself. And also I'm going on a solo trip in like two weeks to Morocco. I thought it would be good company to bring my phone and like vlog it if I get scared <laughs> in the night. Let's get into it. I think I'll start with my jewelry. I don't actually put this away, but there has been some bits I've been collecting for spring, summer. So I usually wear just like silver jewelry. But then for summer, I like to wear gold a little bit more when I get a little bit tanner. And in the past, I've like hated wearing gold and silver together, which is really annoying because like I have like piercings and stuff. So like trying to swap these to gold and stuff is just a hassle. So I found if I wear some jewelry that has like two colors in it, like gold and silver, then it like helps. I wanted to get a mixed colored watch. So I don't know if you can see this. I got this one. <laughs> As like the date on the on the day. It was only like a tenner on vintage. Pretty much everything you see is gonna be from vintage. But I think when I wear that, and then I also have this ring that's my mum's, then if I wear like a silver ring and a gold ring, it doesn't look as crazy. Same with this, this is also my mum's. But it has I think it's actually it's actually white gold, um, not silver, but it obviously looks cute though. And then this actually is new as well. I really wanted a cross. I've seen like a few girlies in the summer and they're wearing like a big old cross, with like a bikini and it looks so nice. I got this one on vintage. It's so cheap. It was like, the vintage descriptions are so wild. I think it was like handmade glass, very expensive, bought in San Sebastian. Like, I don't even think it even said cross. It makes things hard to find, but then this was like so cheap. It looks so gorgeous. Oh, jewelry bag. Shout out to Amy Claffey. She got me a little Dior lip oil and it came with this gorgeous little bag and I keep all my earrings in here. This is my other watch. Got this on Vinted as well. It's a little Versace one. There's a few of them on there. I really like that it's like all the same width. So it kind of looks it's like a chunky bangle. And then I really wanted like a cuff as well. I got this on Vinted. I think I just searched it. It's like a lot of these I just like saved for months. And during the winter, I was like wearing it like on top of my knits. So I thought that was fun. This little badge i'm actually afraid to wear this out in the open out and about as a woman though because i feel like not that they will chase me but like they'll be like hey boy no i do really love it so i might find a way to wear it I had these on my instagram story the other day when i went for dinner with my dad and surprisingly like he complimented them because like, he's usually like what are you wearing <laughs> and he's he is from mayo so he does talk like that and these are so gorgeous they're like obviously intense that I wouldn't really wear them with my hair up but it's gonna be so fun I think I had I had I had silver squirrel earrings saved on vintage for ages these as well I saw I think it was like Addison Ray, and she had this picture of her in like a bikini and she was wearing I'll put the picture in here I wonder if I'll be able to see that <laughs> but yeah this was like just like a little bikini you know island gal with pearls Oops. some people always ask me where I get all my hoops I literally get them all on vintage I always get them to send me a size or like just in their hand. I, I think all of these are sterling silver. Yeah. And like I literally think they're all like five pounds. Same with my rings. 
Um, once you know your ring size, you are unstoppable. Um, next up are my jackets. I got this one unvented, of course. I got this for a really good price. So this is an alpha. If anyone wants a bomber jacket, I feel like they're going to come back. Adam, Adam is my inspo for this. He has one in like almost his exact color. I can't remember. It might be a, the two big brands or Scott or Alpha Industries is the two brands I had saved on Vinted. And then I had it saved in like mint, silver and green. And a lot of them in this color, which I think is the nicest color. It's the same color Adam has. It actually, people list it as silver, even though I think it's really more, more of like a, a mint green, like an icy green, I suppose. It's so handy for spring. All my jackets are black. So, so happy to get these. They all have like this insane orange inside. This one's actually reversible. I don't know when I'd wear it the other way. Let's try it out. Semi Irish. This for Patty's though? No. I got this for a really good price. I got it for £35. Usually I'm Depop and shit like this is like 100 quid. So I was really happy with that. What else do I have spring jacket wise? Definitely gonna have to do a part two guys. I'm only on jackets. That's just for 11 minutes. I don't really want this video to be longer than 20 minutes. Obviously I'm gonna edit it. I hope I'm able to do like fun edits. Future bath, I hope you're able to do fun edits. This jacket with Carl, if Carl's watching. I got this in Dublin. I think it's called something treasure. But this is so cute, a little leather. A little leather. Also, I need to bring all of my jackets to like the dry cleaners. You know, I don't want to do that because it's really expensive. I did a smell musty. I'm just walking around sometimes in the office and I'm just like, I smell like must. <laughs> and I spray perfume, but it obviously it doesn't smell like the jacket. Just need a wash. Yeah, I think I've seen people like, I think this color or else a red is really cute. But this color was so unusual. I'm also going to try to treat all my leather. I'm going to sit down and try demusk and tr like, Bam all my leather with um this stuff that comes with Doc Martens, the Wonder Bam or something it's called. Um and use that. But well, yeah, hopefully these look cute. <laughs> I'm gonna like watch this video back and be like, I hate all my clothes. <laughs> this jacket is another fave. It's a bit more wintry because obviously it's black, but if I could recommend one thing from this video, it would be to start start looking for Versace on vintage. It is I've gotten so many good bits there. My favorite pair of black jeans I got there was our Versace. I think this was like jeans I paid like 15, this was like 20. I'm surprised, like people maybe don't care. But yeah, I think this is so cute. You know, in Lizzie McGuire, and she like really wants those pants for like best dress day, and her mom won't let her get them, and then she like secretly buys them and she spills a slushy on them. I think that they have studs on them, and that's what I picture in my head when I wear this. Yeah, just so cute, the little button details. And because it's a little bit lighter, um, I can like wear it underneath stuff when it's colder. Or then like now, it's getting a bit warmer. Just like out to dinner, like a little, a little black jacket. Loads of it's like this. I'm just like, oh, I had access to, I don't know what, but like, you know, certain brands, and I just like make this. This is the best jacket ever. You should make this, and other people can have it. Although I do think like you, sure, I do think if you search that jacket, you could find it. What other jackets do we have? I think I'll have to change pants for the rest of them. No, actually I'll do, um, this is a fave. This is called Dad's. It's just a denim jacket, I mean, but I don't know. I just always love wearing it because it's Paul's. I wear it usually going out. I love doing jackets like this and just doing the top button like this. I, like if I go out and I'm wearing like a tiny little mini skirt and then I put this on and then my loafers, I think it's, it's super cute, you know? I probably wouldn't wear it as much with big big bottoms like this, usually, but that's kind of cute as well. She filmed a lot of the clips for this yesterday. When I was editing them last night though, they were giving ramble. I'm just gonna do like me talking and then put like a video. So the first thing I got, actually got this recently, is still Shea and Gabbana button up with knitted top. It seems in a, a different video, someone styling like, a very similar top and I think like putting like a little charm or like a little brooch here would be really cute and then I like how you can kind of wear it open this on vintage with actually money I got for Christmas I think I paid like 25 pounds which is like pretty good I always have Dolce and Versace saved on vintage even like the designer bits which are a little bit pricier I still think they're like generally the same price as Zara these days and they obviously last way longer 
but it's super cute I think for spring like the baby blue it's a little knitted moment with a little like has a little label has the label on the back so this I actually got two years ago it was like one of the first pieces I got on UK Depop when I like moved over here and like lost my mind all the stuff that they had over here I think anything in like this like fine knit material is so flattering this is Karen Millen size one whatever that means I've seen the video I like to wear it like open and it's so flattering I also actually almost sold this like two years ago like no what are you doing I get into a bit of a habit where I'm like where I'm like selling everything because I like want new stuff I'm trying to get better at like buying less and then holding on to my items a little bit longer Karen Millen old tops are so good I have a boob tube from there that zips up as well I got at Christmas and it's always the old stuff is such good quality the next piece I actually got this as well like a year ago and in fairness I do also wear it in the winter I just wanted to an excuse to show it off again this is the sluttiest little bag I don't know it's something about it and it just gives like a little hooch old coach I'm trying to get in the habit of saying old and not vintage because sometimes I'll be like this is vintage this is top shop I don't know it sounds a bit obnoxious Who wants to find it it's the it's either the soho or the hobo bag or the soho hobo bag but it is such a good size like it has this big pocket back here which I usually fit my book and then in here I can fit like my water bottle it's got like compartments if you want like a little shoulder bag but you actually want to own things and bring them with you this is such a good size without going too mini it comes in loads of different colors it comes in like the original like coach motif or whatever it's called and um, it's not a burgundy is really good it kind of to me in my head burgundy is like a neutral it goes really well with the leopard together this is another piece that i'm really excited to wear in the spring i technically got it in the winter and i wore it to like a word on christmas day it's the peachy den d-e-b-a skirt but i'm really excited to wear it in like a more casual way in the summer like just with like a tank top and a pair of runners i know they did a restock I'm not sure if it's still in stock on the website, but I would definitely recommend getting it. I got it in a small. I was saying earlier, I'm trying to get better at like maybe only buying like one item of clothing a month. Instead of buying like loads of different bits off vintage for like a fiver, even if I just buy one item, even if it's a little bit pricier. By the end of the year, if I had like 12 items like this that I just absolutely adore. This is another, this is a crowd favorite. Me and my friend Adam actually made a version of this bag. It's such a good colorway for spring i actually got this oh i got this last summer they did a pop-up and it is like a really good side especially like i would bring this all summer as like my if i'm going to the lido and like that i almost use it like a beach bag i've been wanting a light waterproof jacket yeah i cycle to and from work so i actually kind of need a waterproof jacket and this probably isn't the most practical one considering it's cropped and it doesn't have a hood but <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this because um i could resell it for quite a bit of money it is Prada and it is Gore-Tex. 